So we've got an amazing guest here right now, Stephen Herman, who's the White House Bureau Chief of Voice of America. He was with the press pool this week as these three days uh, unraveled, you could say, and these three days were really incredible. So, Steve, just tell us, what are the smoking guns? You say there are two. Yes, I think when you put the uh, call memo together with the whistleblower's complaint, they reinforce each other. With one or the other, you can cast some doubt on this, but both of these documents independently are, uh, I think, in any objective eyes, smoking guns. And what would what would they be, what would, like, if they're smoking guns, what would be the legality of it that, they, that would hinge on this? Well, we're going to see what the legality is with all the investigations that are going to occur in the House of Representatives, which are controlled, uh, these committees controlled by the opposition Democrats. So they have tremendous power. And everybody, basically, perhaps except for the president, who's mentioned in these calls, we have Attorney General Barr, We've got uh, Vice President Pence, Secretary of Pompeo. Uh, we also have Rudy Giuliani, of course. Uh, uh, Kurt Volker, a special envoy to Ukraine. So tell me, because you were really our eyes and ears in the press pool on Tuesday as Nancy Pelosi took to the airwaves saying that they were going to launch this impeachment inquiry. Tell me where you were and how the president reacted. Well, what happened, we were over uh, at another hotel uh, with these bilateral meetings, and then uh, Trump uh, rushed back to uh, Trump Tower here, went up to his residence, and uh, the pool that was with the president the reporters who are supposed to be with him wherever he goes. We were put into a bar over here at, at uh, Trump Tower where we sat and watched as the president, some stairs above us, watched uh, Nancy Pelosi's uh, news conference and announced the beginning of this formal impeachment inquiry. And then, of course, we had the tweets come a few minutes later uh, from the president uh, calling this a witch hunt. Uh, but when you combine everything that's coming out now, the whistleblower complaint, the impeachment inquiry, and the call memo uh, for, for the White House and Donald Trump, it does seem like they're going to have to come up with something better than just calling this political and a witch hunt. So he shut out, the, the press was shut out for the rest of the day and a lot of the meetings, but there was one key meeting where he said something kind of extraordinary that also got leaked because the press wasn't in the room. Tell me what that was. Right. Well, that was this morning uh, when... Uh, the president went back to the Intercontinental Barclay, uh, some blocks down the road here, and spoke to the diplomats and staff of the U.S. mission to the United Nations. Usually this is a friendly meet and greet. And uh, the president, uh, according to people who were there, started uh, uh, insulting Joe Biden, the former vice president, who's running uh, as a Democratic candidate for president, and also got in to the, the, the remarks about uh, the whistleblower saying that uh, he's like a spy. And we used to deal with spies in a different way in the old days, basically uh, implying that uh, the whistleblower is a traitor to his country. And the, the, the penalty for treason uh, in the old days was, of course, uh, execution. Now, now, we know this whistleblower is scared for his own safety. What else do we know when he blew the whistle? What did they say? And, um, and what what can be used and, you know, what, what really important details. Who was this guy? Is he under police protection, security protection? Are we going to hear about him? Are we going to know his name? What did he say that's so important? Well, I don't know that we'll ever know his name, maybe decades later, just as was the case with Deep Throat in Watergate, where it took many years for the name to come out of Mark Felt. But according to the New York Times, and I don't have this independently verified, it is a CIA officer who was posted at the White House and is now back at the CIA.